Let's create stump work from this flower. First, set the parameters in the Cutwork Border Docker. Click on the drop-down arrow by Cut and choose Piece. Satin is the default type of embroidery in the Cutwork Border Docker. Click on the drop-down arrow and choose Wireline from the available choices. You must select only the objects you want to include in the stump work and then add stump work to those objects. This design is grouped, so right-click and select Ungroup. Hold the control key down and select the parts of the design you want to include in the stump work. Go to the Cutwork and Stump Work toolbox and select Add Cutwork Border. Cut is the default border type, so click on the drop-down arrow and select Piece. You can then change the offset. The lower the value of the offset, the closer the satin edge will be to the outside edge of the design. If the offset is over one millimeter, smoothing becomes available. The higher the value of smoothing, the less the stump work satin edge will follow the design's edge. Click OK. If you selected wireline as a component in the docker, there is a flag attached to your mouse and you can choose to click on the design to create an opening for the wires. If you don't wish to have an opening, you can press Escape. The flag will only appear if you've selected wireline for the embroidery type. Click on the satin outline to cut the edge. The wire passes through the satin stitch and then is brought to the wrong side of your background fabric and tied. You can also completely enclose the wire in the satin stitch edge and then attach the stump work piece with sewing machine stitches. If you have added the cut and then decide you do not want to add it, click on undo and that will restore the complete satin stitch edge. Notice that stump work is selected, but the parts of the design are not. So hold down the control key and select the parts of the design in the order they appear in color film. Click on Create Stump Work Subdesign. This places the stump work part of the design in its own design file. Notice in color film that the stump work rose is missing. Click on Open Stump Work Subdesign and this opens the design in its own window. You can add any changes that you want. If you decide you want to cut the opening after all, select the stump work part of the design, click on Cut Closed Border, and then you can click on the design to add the opening. You might also want to change the width of the satin stitch, and you can do that by clicking on Object Properties. The dialog box opens up and then you can change the width as desired and click OK. You do not have to save your stump work subdesign because it will always remain as a part of the total design. If you do want to save it, there's that option in the Cutwork and Stump Work toolbox. When you close the stump work subdesign, if you've made changes, you will be prompted to either save the changes and close or discard the changes and close. Select the option that you wish and the stump work returns to the base design. If the stump work is not showing, make sure show stump work is activated in the view menu. You can also create stump work using convert to cutwork border. Once again, make sure piece is selected and make sure that you have your choice of parameters in the Cutwork Border Docker. Select the object and click on Convert to Cutwork Border. Use Add Cutwork Border when you wish to preserve the design and add a stumpwork border around the design. Use Convert to Cutwork Border when you want to change the design to a stumpwork design.